Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you, uh, I guess, what would be considered sort of an old school way to scrape data from a website and actually get it into this data quite easily. Um, there are, of course, automated ways uh, to do this. Um, you can use Python uh, or R to scrape data and, and get it into usable spreadsheet form. Um, or you can do the sort of what, again, what I will call the old school way um, of scraping data from a website. And so let me show you what you do. Okay, so this is uh, data on uh, COVID-19. Um, we have several different data sets, uh, U.S., global, um, deaths, confirmed cases, so on and so forth. Um, let's just click on uh, the case data. Uh, the case data is in a .csv uh, format, um, which as you can see is just a text format. Um, and so what I would do uh, is, uh, this is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, what I'll do is I'll click on raw here and you'll see that it actually just brings up uh, you know, a web page that is really just a text file. Um, so what I can do is I can just copy, and again, like I said, this is kind of the old school way of doing it. I can just uh, highlight all of this, just hit uh, shift and highlight all of it. And you'll notice I'm just literally going to copy it. Um, then I'm going to open up uh, a notepad. I'm just going to paste directly into the notepad. Um, again, this is, this is just going to be a text file. Uh, I'll save this. I'll give it a name like COVID update. Um, and then I'm just going to save it to wherever I want my working directory to be. So you save the text file to whatever your working directory is going to be. So I'm just going to set it to my desktop. All right, now I just go and I open up a Stato window. And again, uh, set the working directory to wherever you just put that text file. So again, for me, that was desktop. Now I can import the CSV file. Um, the CSV files, uh, which are, again, are just text files, you'll notice that, that this one, um, everything that separates uh, individual observations uh, or variable names or whatever is a comma. You'll notice that, that it's comma. We call this comma delimited. So the data is delimited specifically by way of commas. Sometimes um, raw data will be semicolon separated. Sometimes it will be just be tab separated. So there'll just be space in between the words. Here, this is specifically um, comma separated. That's good because Stata actually assumes the default for uh, importing a text file is comma delimited. So you don't actually have to do anything special. So we'll just say import and then delimited. All right, so again, the text file is just called COVID uh, update. Um, the fact that we're importing delimited data into Stata, and again, Stata's default is to assume that your delimited data is by comma. Um, if you happen to have data that's delimited by something else, you can do an option. I'll show you that in a, in a different video, how to do it with different types of files. Anyway, so let's run the code. It usually will take just a second. And you'll notice that now we have a data set loaded into Stata. Now, I'm also going to show you how to reshape this data. Um, specifically, uh, if we look at the data, you'll notice that it's in what we call wide form. Um, what I mean by wide form is that you have your um, entities. So these are our counties. You'll see that counties, these are states. Um, there's also some, some non-county data as well, but we have counties uh, and states. And then the actual data um, with the uh, COVID cases is labeled by V's. So each of these is actually a day. So this is um, the first day of the data was starting to be recorded, which I believe is January 22nd. Um, and then it just goes forward and has about um, 90 some odd days worth of data. And so you can see that, you know, early on there's no COVID cases. Um, and then as we uh, proceed forward, um, we start to see those COVID cases uh, show up. But of course, the problem with this data is that it's in wide form, which means that I'm not able to say, for example, let's say that I wanted to run a panel regression using, you know, COVID data. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that because the data is not in a proper form. So what I want is I'm going to take all of these days and I want the I want to create basically one variable, one column 
of cases. And the, the cases will still have a daily component, so I, I want to count the days. So I want to have a time component, and I want to basically have one column that has cases for, you know, each of these uh, particular um, entities, which are <clears throat> U.S. counties. So the way that I do this is I run what we call a reshape command. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is because there's uh, an issue with the way that, the way that I'm going to reshape, um, I'm going to use the FIPS code, uh, which is a unique identifier for each county. Um, because I'm going to use the FIPS code to reshape, some of my entities don't have FIPS code, so I'm just going to drop them out. It's not very many. Um, the data set is, you know, well, this is in the hundreds of thousands, and you'll see that when I drop the FIPS that are blank, it only drops what, 10 observations, right? So that's not very many observations at all. So now I'm just going to reshape. Again, I'm, I'm taking it from wide data, um, which has uh, variables as, as individual columns. I'm going to turn it into long. It's going to take those individual columns, stack them into a single column. So reshape long. Um, the variable that I'm going to reshape is V. We call V here the stub, and then the number is the identifier for that particular stub. So this is how state is actually going to be able to stack relative to each individual entity. So each entity has their own V12, each entity has their own V13, and then what I'm just going to do is I'm going to use the reshape command to stack them. So uh, long V, I, I is the unique identifier, so for us that's the FIPS code, and then J, we just leave it as J. And if everything went correctly, it takes just a second. Excellent. So now you'll notice that instead of having all of those uh, V variables, we have a single V variable. And now we go look at the data. And we'll see that you know none of this has just changed, right? We still have county level data. We can go down, you can see you still have it by counties. Um, but now we have V as one variable. So this is the cases in these particular area um, by uh, the time component. So this is the first day, which I think was, again was January 22nd. And then as we go forward, you can see those cases change. Obviously, American Samoa hasn't had a case. Guam, for example, has. They picked up cases around day 40. And you can see that Guam's cases started to increase. So again, you can see we retain the time component here. Um, but we have now got the data into panel form, which is exactly the way we normally uh, would want it. Um, I may rename the variable uh, cases, so V cases, that way, you know, instead of V, it says cases. Um, and there you go. So we took a raw text file uh, from a website, we imported it into Stata with the import delimited command, and then we used the reshape command to take it from wide uh, into long.